Hey guys, uh, back again with Brando down here at the Gnarly Toy Box. I uh, wanted to show you some Mad Balls. It's one of my personal favorite things. So back in 85, China put out the original eight characters. They were made out of rubber. This is Hornhead. Um, they're made out of rubber, they're hollow, got air inside of them. The very same year, Taiwan and Hong Kong used the same molds and made all of them out of uh, a rigid foam. Um, any of the old rubber China ones are worth quite a bit more. Um, more like 100 bucks as opposed to 40, kind of average. I personally have every one of the rubber ones that they put out, plus actually every licensed Mad Ball that they ever made. Um, if you want to check out my Instagram, you can check out my collection. I'd put it in top three of the world. Give me a vote. Um, we got a lot of the knockoff stuff actually is worth a little bit more than the licensed stuff as far as Mad Balls. Because, you know, there was hundreds of thousands of the licensed made. Then there was a lot of companies that kind of jumped on the whole balls with face category and uh, started making knockoffs to sell in the dollar stores, sell at the, in the crane machines, at the carnival, stuff like that. So completing one of those sets, which would be like, uh, here, this Ghostbuster set, for instance, is considered a bootleg Mad Ball. The difference between a knockoff and a bootleg would be a knockoff, they make something that actually exists. So this is a knockoff of a Screaming Mimi Mad Ball. So there's one that looks like that. These are more of bootleg in my opinion because they don't actually exist, but they took the Mad Ball idea of a ball with a face. Same with, uh, you know, knockoff brandings on clothes, stuff like that. So these ones are worth quite a bit more than these ones and these ones and these ones, but the knockoffs or bootlegs are substantially more desirable these days. It's a very deep rabbit hole. But we've got uh, all these Mad Balls. These ones are zombie zoos is what they called these ones. It's a little bit of a different foam. It's an example of a bootleg because it definitely doesn't say Mad Ball anywhere on it, but they took the idea and ran with it. It's also a much cheaper foam, um, not very well made, so there's less of them that make it past the 80s. So, um, I don't know. A little bit more educated you can be on the Mad Balls, the better. This one's a 2006 release of Slobulus, so this was 85. This one was released in 2006. Same character, um, just a little bit of a, more of a, you know, gruesome sculpt on him. I personally like the 2006 sculpts the best, but you gotta have the OGs, you know? Uh, another character that kind of changed was, this one here was called Crackhead, back in the 80s, says it right there on the back. Um, they changed him to Bash Brain. I wish I had an example to show you, but they changed him to Bash Brain in the 2000s because well, Crackheads were a thing, so. Um, kind of a little fun fact. But, I don't know, um, I'm gonna wrap it up. If you guys got any questions or anything like that, throw it in the comments, and uh, I'm glad to answer any questions for you guys. So, um, you know, have fun and keep it gnarly, my dudes.